Ever wondered how hot the Earth's core is? Imagine the toastiest summer day you've ever experienced. Now multiply that heat by about a million, and you're still not even close to the temperature of Earth's core. Our planet, it turns out, is much more than the cool, serene blue sphere we see from space. Deep beneath our feet, thousands of miles below the surface, lies the Earth's core, a layer of molten iron and nickel. This fiery heart of our planet plays a crucial role in shaping the world as we know it. From creating the magnetic field that protects us from harmful solar radiation to influencing the movement of tectonic plates. Isn't it intriguing that despite living on this planet, there's so much we don't know about it? Like a giant Russian nesting doll, Earth has layers within layers, each holding its own secrets. And the core is the ultimate mystery, the innermost doll, if you will. Although we've never been able to physically reach the Earth's core, however, through scientific inference and seismic studies, we've been able to paint a picture of what it might be like. It's a place of extreme heat and pressure, a world unlike anything we can imagine on the surface. And the temperature? Well, let's just say it's hot, very hot. In fact, the Earth's core is equal to the surface of the sun. Our planet's core is equal to the blazing ball of gas that lights up our days and gives us our summer tan. But how can this be? How can the center of our relatively cool Earth be hotter than the sun's surface? What forces are at work deep beneath our feet, creating such an inferno? And what does this mean for us living on the surface? These are the burning questions we'll be exploring in this video. Today we'll dive deep into the Earth's core to find the answer. Imagine you're on a journey, a journey to the very center of our planet, a thrilling expedition deep beneath the surface where no human has ever ventured. You'd find yourself in a world beyond our wildest imagination. Let's start with the crust, the layer we're most familiar with. It's relatively thin, ranging from just 3 to 45 miles thick. The crust, which is the Earth's outer shell, is comparatively cool, with temperatures varying from minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit at the surface to about 1,652 degrees Fahrenheit at the boundary with the mantle. It's the home of every mountain, valley, and ocean, and it's where we humans have built our civilizations. But as we descend deeper, we encounter the mantle. This is no ordinary layer. It's about 1,800 miles thick, making up a staggering 84% of Earth's total volume. The mantle is a place of slow, churning movement, where solid rock behaves like a viscous fluid over millions of years. This is where the tectonic plates drift, causing earthquakes and volcanic eruptions on the surface. Deeper still, we reach the outer core. This molten sea of mostly iron and nickel is about 1,400 miles thick. Here, temperatures soar up to 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's in this fiery inferno that Earth's magnetic field is generated, creating a protective shield against harmful solar radiation. Finally, we arrive at our destination, the inner core. Though it's the hottest part of Earth, reaching temperatures of up to 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it's under such intense pressure that it remains solid. That's equal to the sun's surface and hotter than most stars in the universe. It's primarily composed of iron and is about the size of our moon. This intense heat is due to the residual heat from the planet's formation, the decay of radioactive elements, and the immense pressure squeezing the rock. This pressure, which increases with depth, compresses the atoms, causing them to move faster and thus generate more heat. It's a dynamic, ever-changing entity with temperatures that defy our wildest imaginations. That's hot enough to vaporize anything we know. Our home planet's core is a veritable inferno, with temperatures that can rival and even surpass the surface of the sun. This isn't just some imaginative speculation. It's based on solid scientific evidence. How do we know this? We haven't dug a hole to the core to measure the temperature directly. The deepest we've ever gone is the Kola Super Deep Borehole, a Soviet project from the late 20th century, which only reached about seven and a half miles deep a tiny fraction of the Earth's radius. Instead, we rely on seismic data, the study of how shock waves from earthquakes travel through the Earth. When an earthquake occurs, it sends out waves that move differently depending on what they're traveling through. By studying these waves, scientists can infer a lot about the Earth's interior, including its temperature. Additionally, we have laboratory experiments. Scientists can create extreme pressures and temperatures like those believed to exist in the Earth's core. They then study how materials behave under these conditions, and their findings point to the same conclusion, a scorching hot core. Then, there's the fact that the Earth is geologically active. We have volcanoes, earthquakes, and tectonic plate movements. All these activities are driven by the heat from the Earth's core. 
If the core wasn't as hot as we believe, we wouldn't see these geological phenomena on the scale we do. Now you might be thinking, if the Earth's core is so hot, why isn't the surface boiling? Well, the Earth's thick layers of mantle and crust act as a great insulator, keeping most of that intense heat trapped deep within. Only a small portion of this heat escapes to the surface, causing the geological activities we mentioned earlier. And all this time, we've been living atop this incredible inferno, oblivious to the intense heat beneath our feet. So what makes the Earth's core so hot? It's not just a single element that sets the Earth's core ablaze, but a symphony of forces working together. This heat from the Earth's core holds a key role in the functioning of our planet. It's responsible for the geothermal energy that heats our hot springs and geysers. It powers the tectonic activity that shapes our continents and oceans. It even generates the Earth's magnetic field, our planet's protective shield against harmful solar radiation. So in a way, the heat of the Earth's core is a life giver. Another key element is gravity. You see, gravity isn't just the reason we're grounded to the Earth. It also plays a pivotal role in the elevated temperatures of the Earth's core. As the Earth formed billions of years ago, particles were pulled together by gravity, creating a massive ball of matter. This process, known as gravitational compression, generated a considerable amount of heat. Imagine squeezing a stress ball. The more you squeeze, the warmer it gets. That's what gravity did to Earth during its formation, except on a much larger scale. Now let's talk about pressure. The core is under immense pressure due to the massive weight of the layers of rock, water, and air above it. This pressure is so intense it's as if you were trying to hold up a fleet of jumbo jets on your shoulders. Under such extreme pressure, materials behave differently. They become denser and their temperature increases. Finally, we must mention radioactive decay. You see, the Earth is like a giant natural nuclear reactor. Its core contains radioactive materials like uranium, thorium, and potassium, which release heat as they decay. This process is slow but persistent. Over billions of years, the heat from radioactive decay has remained trapped inside the planet, contributing to the core's intense heat. These three factors, gravity, pressure, and radioactive decay, are the primary contributors to the Earth's core temperature. Other factors like the heat from the formation of the planet and the heat produced from the solidification of the inner core also play their parts. It's a complex dance of natural forces, each contributing in its own unique way. The gravity that pulled the Earth together, the unyielding pressure from the weight of the world above, the slow and steady heat from radioactive decay, they all come together to create the extreme temperatures of the Earth's core. And it's not a static situation. The heat within the core drives convection currents in the outer core and mantle. This movement of material transfers heat from the core to the surface, driving plate tectonics and volcanic activity. So, the heat of the core is not just an isolated phenomenon. It's a dynamic, vital part of our planet's life cycle. So, the next time you're enjoying a sunny day, remember the unseen forces at work beneath your feet. It's a world of intense heat and pressure, a testament to the incredible power of nature's forces. These forces make our planet's core a fiery furnace. And it's this furnace that powers the dynamic, ever-changing world we call home. This intense heat plays a crucial role in our planet's function. It's not just an oven baking the ground beneath our feet. It's the engine driving Earth's geological activities and the shield protecting us from harmful cosmic particles. Let's take a step back and imagine Earth as a giant seething ball of molten rock. The heat from the core is what keeps this ball churning. It causes the mantle, the layer above the core, to convect. This convection, like the roiling boil of a pot of soup on the stove, is what drives the movement of Earth's tectonic plates. This, in turn, leads to the creation of mountains, valleys, and ocean trenches. It's the architect sculpting the face of our planet. But the core's influence doesn't stop at the surface. It also reaches out into space, shaping our planet's magnetic field. This field, generated by the swirling motion of molten iron within the outer core, is like an invisible force field. It deflects much of the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emanating from the sun. Without it, these particles could strip away our atmosphere, leaving our planet barren and lifeless like Mars. When you think about it, the core's heat is like a heart within the Earth, pumping life into our planet. It's the catalyst for the geological processes that have shaped our world and the shield that protects our atmosphere from the harshness of space. So, the next time you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin or see the magnificent display of the northern or southern lights, remember that these experiences are only possible because of the heat from our planet's core. 
It's a testament to the intricate balance of forces and conditions that make our Earth a living, breathing entity in the cosmos. Without our hot core, Earth wouldn't be the planet we know and love. Despite what we know, there are still mysteries about our planet's core. The Earth's core, cloaked in layers of molten rock and metal, is a Pandora's box of enigmas. Scientists have dedicated lifetimes to unravel these mysteries, yet questions remain. One of the most pressing of these is the core's exact composition. Sure, we have a basic understanding. It's mostly iron, with a dash of nickel and other lighter elements. But the precise proportions, the intricate dance of elements, that's still a question mark. The Earth's core, cloaked in layers of molten rock and metal, is a Pandora's box of enigmas. One of the most pressing of these is the core's exact composition. But the precise proportions, the intricate dance of elements, that's still a question mark. The core's composition is no trivial matter. It holds the key to understanding not just our planet, but others too. Another puzzle that keeps geophysicists up at night is the precise mechanisms of heat transfer within the core. It's a constantly churning cauldron equal to the sun, but how does the heat move? How does it escape? We know of conduction, convection, and radiation, but the exact interplay of these modes in such an extreme environment is still under investigation. And then there's the question of the core's age. How old is it really? When did it form? Estimates vary and the truth remains elusive. The age of the core could provide insights into Earth's history, its magnetic field, and even the evolution of life. Lastly, there's the question of the core's future. What will happen as it cools over billions of years? The consequences could be profound, affecting everything from our planet's magnetic field to its very habitability. These questions and many more are the driving force behind ongoing research into the Earth's core. They are the threads that scientists are pulling at, hoping to unravel the full tapestry of our planet's innermost secrets. The Earth's core remains a hot topic of research. It's a force that shapes our world, powers our lives, and protects us from the harshness of space. It's a testament to the incredible dynamism and complexity of our planet. And yet there's so much we still don't know about the Earth's core. But one thing's for sure, the Earth's core is a world of extremes, a place of unimaginable heat and pressure. Next time you feel the warmth of the sun, remember there's something even hotter beneath your feet.